Hi, my name is Wayne McIntyre. I'm a software developer on the Active Directory team. In this video, we're going to demo the new domain controller locator perp counters. And if you haven't seen our technical takeoff session yet for what's new in AD, I recommend watching that for additional context. So first, we'll start with an overview of the new performance counter sets that we have. And you can see there are three new ones here. We have the DC locator client, the DC locator DC, and the DC locator net logon. The client counters are going to measure per process running on this machine. The domain controller counters are going to only exist on the actual DC, and those are incoming LDAP pings and mail slot pings for DC lookups. And then the net logon version is very similar to the client counters, but it's broken down per uh, name lookup. So I'll go ahead and expand client. And you can see the granularity of the perf counters. So you can break the request down based on what flags are being set, set and request per second, uh, if it's GC required, KDC required, and so forth. Then you have the overall breakdown of uh, request whether what the failure latency, the success latency is, uh, failures per second, successes, et cetera. Now, I'm going to click on one of these, and you can see here that they are indeed broken down by process and process ID. And if we jump over to the net logon counters, you'll see that they're mostly the same with, with flags. There's some additional ones with cache hits per second and misses per second. So you can see how many times um, a DC lookup is being resolved by the cache or whether it has to actually make a call on the wire and then make the DNS queries. But then after that, it's very similar with breakdown per flags um, and then the number of requests, failures, and successes, and so forth. But if I click on one of these, you'll see here that the breakdown is per naming context or, or, or name that was looked up. So in this case, we have Contosa.com, which is obvious, and then there's some other lookups for like dc1.contosa.com and so forth. All right, so let's look at these uh, perf counters in action. I actually have a stress tool that's running right now that's just um, looping and, and making a number of uh, DC locator requests, and it breaks down the the successes, successes, failures, and the average response time. And we're getting average response time of, of zero milliseconds. And that's mostly because the client and DC are the, the same machine. So there's no network latency involved. And if we look at some of the perf counters I've already added, we could see that it's already tracking this in terms of the number of requests per second, the total active requests, which I have is eight. Uh, for flags, uh, the writable requests per second for the net logon counters. And then we could also probably add some domain controller counters to get some idea of, of how often the DC is receiving lookups for uh, itself. And that's it. That concludes the demo for the new domain controller locator performance counters. Thank you.